I think uh, probably a good uh, introduction about myself is I've been doing training for a long time. The first time I did training was in 2003. That was the first year I got certified. So I started off with a lot of functionality training. So I was doing a lot of development training, server training. The, during, during the early 2000s, uh, security was not in fashion, frankly speaking. So earlier on in the, in the 2000s, you have people who are very keen on having the web applications, the server set up. No one was talking about virtualization because it was not even available. And But I think the time uh, came when in Singapore, because I'm based in Singapore, uh, we had a attack, but the attack was on a government link or what we call a step or agency. So during that time, it was a very big news. Then I was thinking that, hey, uh, for Singapore, we needed to have training available because initially there was not a lot of people doing training so uh, for security. So we had uh, maybe a little bit of people who are trained on firewall and that's actually about it. So what happened was I went to slowly pick up on uh, quite a fair bit of certifications for security. So I started off with firewalls. Then after that, I moved on to uh, pen testing. I did uh, application security. Then after I slowly move on to uh, other certifications on uh, security best practices and whatever. So uh, I'm still currently taking certifications for security. It's an it's a ongoing uh, upgrade on myself. So that's basically the introduction that I have. I'm currently doing the CH, CH program, very popular program. I do it almost every month. Some some months I'm doing it twice. Uh, it's a five day program. So uh, I also do uh, incident handler. So it's an EC Council certified incident handler. I take on uh, CHFI, uh, hacking forensic investigator. I also do uh, threat intelligence. So the CPIA certification. I also do. Um, the previously we call ECSA, so it's the security analyst. I am also currently doing network defender also. And that's the program I'm doing for uh, EC Council. I, there's always so much more you want to learn because there's so much more you want to share. I don't want to be missing anything when I'm sharing. So I try to learn as much as possible because in every single class, even for network defender, you would have students coming in and they are sometimes really network people, sometimes you have application people, sometimes you just have server people. So for them is, oh, Johnson, I only run Win, Win servers. I only run Red Hat servers. What is Network Defender? So, so I need to be able to understand their contacts so that I can improve and enlarge the contacts that they currently have. So this is the reason why I take on so much load. Probably the most popular course we teach in EC Council is CH, is the flagship certification, very, very popular. Uh, but that certification is very offensive driven. So in the industry context, you use terms like great teaming and stuff like that. So I was thinking probably if the market was so into great teaming, there should be people who should be looking at blue teaming also. So with, with CH doesn't doesn't go through blue teaming because we won't have enough uh, bandwidth for it. So I went to source around, then I discovered oh there was a network defender. So initially I took network defender version one. Uh, nice course, nice course. Uh, a lot of labs to do, a lot of focus to focus on. Then after that they decided to do the revamp, and uh, I thought the revamp was great. A lot more focus on. The network layer of stuff and quite a fair bit of labs are very well crafted so um, after going through the the experience of doing the labs and whatever i thought it was a good course to deliver to students i think cnd is really fun seriously speaking because if you if you go into security training today there is a lot of buzzword that people use. There's a lot of words that's been around for a long time. And it it represents a lot, but it's not explained properly. So I'm gonna explain myself now. So like, for example, when we were taking a look long, long time ago, a lot of people like to use the word defense in that. It's still very well used today. Uh, but the problem with it is every single 
uh, network, every single setup, every single infrastructure setup, every single cloud setup, the network defense in depth is very different. So when when we were looking at uh, CNG, the the idea of being able to have network defense in depth taught in CNT based on so many different kinds of infrastructure and setup was really very fun for the student. So when I had students coming in, they felt that their experience was worth, worth, worthwhile to share. And uh, it was nice to see new things like a fair bit of students was very uh, into, I wouldn't say into, they were very interested in cloud computing, but they didn't understand what we could do from network defending point of view, because for them is it's on the cloud. So what's there to do network defending for? But after going through the course, they discovered, oh my God, <laughs> actually on the cloud, there's also network defending to do. It's just that the network is not physically with you, it's virtually with you. So I, I felt the experience was fun because you were, you were delivering so many things to people and you're giving them so many different perspectives. Probably for the CND exam, I felt that it was, it was nice. It was nice because probably about 80-90% of the questions that they had, you, you, you could find the answers available in the materials that you were reading. It was very focused. You were very into the network defending part of it. Uh, details are always very hard to remember. That was probably the hardest part because we knew they were asked a lot of things, but uh, the material was a lot. And so we tried very, very hard to remember as much things as possible. That's probably the hardest part of it. Um, but I think it was legit because the questions was uh, well-crafted and it was very aligned to what uh, CND was looking for. Probably number one is uh, we tried to cover quite a fair bit. So we were looking at uh, covering uh, Linux setup, we were looking at covering Windows setup, we were looking at cloud setup, we were looking at storage. We were looking at quite a fair bit of things and I think it was legit fair. And being able to cover all things within the five days was also nice. Uh, that was the really nice thing because I felt the program was sufficient. It's not shortchanged and it was comprehensive enough because it represented what the market was looking for. That was the first thing I liked about it, that it was well crafted and there was enough meat inside the material. I think the second thing that I was uh, very happy about the course was that uh, it was very progressive. So you were starting from uh, authentication, then you move on to the different uh, network defense in that kind of concept before you move in into individual operating system and whatever. So the flow of it was also very smooth. Yeah, so you know, when we are doing delivery, we wanted the entire picture to be not messy. The jigsaw puzzle should be there, but you should be crafting the jigsaw puzzle properly rather than having it very, very lopsided. That was one of the things I liked very well. Um, of course, the third one was that it was technically in-depth enough to challenge people's understanding about the different um, servers that you're working with, the different setup that you were working with. So if you take a look at a lot of technical people, even, even me, we use things, we don't understand things. So the program itself tried to explain why is that emphasis on the SAMS database? Why, what is the lsass.exe file for? They, they gave you a lot of technical details that we normally ignore, but from a security perspective, it was really important. So to me, well-crafted program, flow was good, enough technical detail to interest me. I'm predominantly a Microsoft person, uh, because for the first six, seven years of my career, I was very heavily into Microsoft set up Microsoft configuration, Microsoft development and stuff like this. So, um, and if you were looking at the Microsoft stack of programs, right, there was very little security involved. It was always configuration, configuration, configuration. So this program gave me a chance to look at some kind of servers that I don't have day-to-day -day experience on. It also gave me a chance to really talk to students and tell the students that uh, network def defense in that is not just a theory. It is a it is a theoretical model that is applicable. That was to me 
something that was very important. Being able to take a very, very nice defense in that concept and visualize it. And after that, um, really presented it properly to the student so that uh, they could understand it at a level that was acceptable for them. So to me, what I probably really liked was that it gave me a chance to take the knowledge that I have and presented it to the student in an applicable way. I, I think probably on my perspective, um, one of the more comparable, I'll use the word comparable, uh, program that is roughly aligned to what CND is looking for is probably Security Plus. It's probably Security Plus. It comes from that vendor that you know. But um, what what I enjoyed a lot more with CND was the fact that it didn't dive in so much on the theory, theory part so that it doesn't overwhelm the student with tons of theoretical knowledge and no hands-on. Yeah, because the, the kind of audience that we are expecting would be people who are keen on being able to apply the network defense concept rather than understand the network defense concept. So probably if you look into the market, I, 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 I don't know the entire market, but in terms of my knowledge, I won't find anything comparable fully to what CND is doing. It's it's quite a it's quite a unique credential on its own in the fact that there is enough theory, but that there's a lot of labs and well-crafted labs to support the knowledge delivery. From my experience of taking the exams, uh, it, it's probably an exam where reading and doing so doing the lab is important because they will the there is still questions on tools there'll be a bit of questions on syntax technical syntax that you should be knowledgeable about when you're working with the tools uh, but the theory part cannot be ignored especially those that has got a lot of security uh, circumstances if you if you do not focus on it so reading the material helps a lot actually yeah reading the material helps a lot um, but you do have to spend a little bit of time on the lab and if there's so actually for cnd the labs are okay because it's not overwhelming so you can finish the labs and appreciate the labs and if there's anything that's syntactically required for you to remember like for example if there's not there's a little bit of not syntax there's a little bit of Wireshark, a little bit of Wireshark filters. It's good to remember all these things for exam purposes. So it's theory, but it's also a little bit practically driven. Now that's my advice for students <laughs> whenever they ask me about exams.